There is the horror show. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of bird heads in there. See them all? It's so gross. And there's a bunch of eggs. There's a lot of bird heads in there. We're gonna open this little, it looks like a little metal treasure chest. It almost looks handmade, doesn't it? Here's the WD-40 can that they've formed into a uh, piggy bank. Last time on Locker Nuts, I bought a locker because it had an item I was looking for, a 5 gallon water jug so I can put together a coin haul video. The locker looked clean and organized and appeared to have good sellable merchandise in it, but I was completely shocked when I started to discover some very strange and creepy items. They appeared to be voodoo of some sort. I also found a couple of containers which had some mystery to them. Let's continue to go through this locker and get to the bottom of what's inside. Alright guys, here's another one. And this one also says Santo de Rendo. I don't know what that means. I'll have to do some Google translating later. But... This weird stuff. Is there a market for this? This is a, looks to be a horn. A piece of a horn that's been hollowed out. What's in there? This is some sort of twigs. Sticks. I just wonder if that's like something significant. There's another piece of horn right here. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, what else is in here? There's some weird stuff here. Look at this thing. That's freaky. Is he missing a leg intentional? I don't know. It broke off. A whole bunch of sticks here. this thing. It's like sticky. I'm not sure why it's sticky. There's bird feathers in here. Little, little bell. What is this thing? Uh, should I be touching this stuff? I don't know. Seashell. I don't know what the sunglasses and the whistle are for. Part of the sculpture, whatever it is. Uh, okay, that's something's leg. Or a minute, what is that? A tail? I don't know what that is. Some animal part. Hey, hey, what the monkey is? People say the monkey around. Yeah, it's like a big old beanstalk right here. Okay, what does that say? I'm not opening it. I don't want to. It's got like multiple things inside. They're hard. They move around. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Okay, what's this? What is this? It'd be great if it was like silver coins or something. I don't think so. Gee whiz! That's getting really annoying. Okay, so what's this? What do we have here? Just some rocks? They're cool. I don't know what the significance is. So we go from voodoo stuff to <laughs> cochina, which means kitchen, bowl, ensalada, salad bowls. What a change of pace, huh? Look at that. Salad bowls, indeed. Okay, some decent bowls in here. I see a couple wood ones. I see some ceramic ones. I see some metal ones. But this is what I'm interested in right here. What kind of knives did we own? Wait, that's a wicked looking knife. Huh. The grip is all de deteriorating. Okay, not what I'm looking for. Master Chef. These aren't the ones we're looking for. On Onita? That one's an Onita. They make knives too. 
perfumes, medicine. Got a nice little set here, a toolbox with a, well, a bunch of miscellaneous screws and parts and stuff. We should be able to sell that. The toolbox alone is worth a few bucks. It's nice. Next box. More kitchen stuff. We got a pressure cooker and a whole bunch of kitchen utensils. This thing actually is a little bit cool, isn't it? What is this? This is a coffee maker, but. I think those are for like making fancy coffees. A little drill. It's another little tool kit. Okay. Luggage, let's see what's in the bag. Hopefully not dead bodies. That would be very traumatic. Ah, here's the perfumes right here. So what do we got? Prime gold. Batch number 24, fragrance tonic. Huh, that actually looks like it might be worth something. I don't know. It's like a bath, uh, bath uh, whatever you call it. Alicia. Hello, beautiful body cream. And that's probably for that. So that's good. So perfumes are going to be easy to sell for about five bucks each. All right, we got some stuff in here. Let's move all these blankets and towels aside. Okay, we got a shark iron, and it looks to be in pretty good shape. Shark's a good brand. A little pedicure kit. Humongous high heels. Yeah. Mystery bag. Oh, that's cool for blood pressure. That's a nice one, too. That should be 10 bucks. Okay, next bag. You just say, next box. That's good. Water shoes for Bigfoot. Got lots of flip flops in here. Found this thing. In case I ever want to go dumpster diving. What I wanted to show you is right here. Check that out. That's a big old rolling toolbox, tool bag. We had one. We recently showed that in one of the lockers. Uh, the one that we unboxed at Concord, we went through it out there and uh, we um, sold it right on the spot, I think, for 20 bucks. It was, no, maybe it was 15, I don't know, it was too cheap. But uh, we sold it too cheap, I mean. But that's going to be, uh, if that's full of tools, that's going to be worth probably 100 bucks right there at minimum. Yeah, what's in the bag? Toys, books. Earphones, and a bunch of kids' books, and stuffed animals. Yeah. Not too good, but you know what? School's just started this week. Maybe there's some parents holding out for uh, new backpacks, and this one's a little dirty, but it looks like it's in good shape. Okay, good news is this thing is really heavy. Like, really heavy. So. Some tools in here. Decent little socket set. That's probably eight bucks. Oh wow, we got a nice tool bag inside of a tool bag. Oh wow. Guys, come over here and check this out. So, first of all, we got tons of tools over here. Tons of tools. We got channel lock. Got good stuff in here. Good, 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 good. Good stuff, yes. I mean, it's not like super high quality, but it's all sellable stuff. What we got here? This Black & Decker saw that's a cordless. Got a clamp right here, a C-clamp, that's good. Let's come on. Uh, another C-clamp, got a crowbar, charger. Wait, that's boss stitch? That's a different charger. Good hammers here. Good hammer. What's this one? Another Black and Decker tool. Let's hope we've got, we've got some 
ties in. Oh yeah, that's good. Look at that. That's really nice. Nice mallet. That's five dollars right there. Screws level. All right, we got some stuff. We need the we need the batteries for the the cordless tools in order to make them sellable. Well, they're still sellable, but in order to get the money we should, we need the the the, the batteries. Here's uh five dollars right here. Maybe four dollars. I say four dollars. Uh, that one might be five right here actually. It's a level lock. I like those. <laughs> yeah, that's four dollars. So, oh, there's another one. <laughs> I thought I was the only one to use that many tape measures. Look at this one. Hopefully, got the charger and the batteries in here. Oh, wow, look at this. Brand new. Boss Stitch. Is that a good brand? I don't even know. I like how it has the bit holder right here, but feels pretty decent. It's hard to tell though. There's an impact driver. Ah, there's the black and decker. Here's the boss stitch. There's a five dollar tape measure. There's a nice little set. This probably six or seven bucks. Gator grip, huh? Ratchet. Ooh. That's good. A bunch of little bits. Alright, that's not bits, those are sockets. These are these are bits. This is good stuff, you guys. There is the horror show <laughs> of this weird stuff. I took it out just to take a couple photos. I don't know if I use it as a thumbnail, but I took it out. This these are all baby not baby birds, but bird heads. There's a whole bunch of bird heads in there. See them all? It's so gross. And there's a bunch of eggs. There's a lot of bird heads in there. I don't even know what's below this plate. All I know is that's heavy. And this is really heavy. Like, I think that's cast iron pot right there. It's a real shame because I'm probably just going to dump this whole thing because it's so weird. And, uh, that's too bad because that pot is probably worth some money. But, and that back there, that school is just a Halloween prop. So it's stupid. I don't know what this person was doing, but that's what we got. Okay, All right. we're live. Okay, got these out of a locker. Oh. Might need a little WD-40, but that won't work right there. Um, okay. So what are we opening, Tommy? We're gonna open this little, it looks like a little metal treasure chest. It almost looks handmade, doesn't it? I don't know. Locker. Everything we need, we can find in a lock. Alright, here we go. Oh, sorry, I don't want that to fall me. Oh, look at that muscle. It's not exactly a fat lock. But... Oh, I broke right off. Okay, what's up? Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Are you guys ready? Um... Oh, boy. Um... What is this? Hmm. What is this? Yeah. What the heck is this thing? I found other stuff like this too. Some sort of pottery or something. Mm -hmm. but what is it? It has a smell too. It's... There's seashells, right? Mm -hmm. They're filled with something like wax or something. Hmm. What else we got in here? Maybe you should put those in. Probably I should. Yeah. What is that? No is that a geode? You know? It feels, it doesn't feel, it almost feels like it's. Like an egg? Yeah. I mean, it, it almost has like kind of a, I don't know if that's my it's imagination. Like soft. It feels soft almost. That's an that egg right there. That's why I said it. Why would they lock that? Oh, a little skull. Oh my goodness, that's a freaking skull right there? Yeah. It looks like a little human skull. I don't have my glasses. Is that a human skull? No. Can just be from like a one. fetus or something? No, oh, it's wood or something. It's just carved? Yeah. Yeah, they're weird. These yeah. people are weird. All right. Okay. Yeah, the thing freaking flew out. Mm. Gross. Okay. That's going in the garbage. Okay. That's a bummer. I'm not even going to keep that box. That's going in the garbage too. Yeah, just that. 
Let's see what you have here now. Let's start again. What do you have here, honey? Here's the WD-40 can that they've formed into a uh, piggy bank. Really? It's pretty funny, what do you huh? Think of, you like that? No, I don't think that's a good... If you call them, he's going to smell like WD-40 I don't know. WD-40 doesn't smell bad. I think so. It doesn't. It has a strong odor. Is it really an oil? Is it what? Is it an oil lubricant? Is that what it is, kind of? WD-40? Mm-hmm. What is it made out of? Does anyone know? Can yeah. they tell us? It's a petroleum-based thing. Do you know what WD stands for? Mm -hmm. Water displacement. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. Let's see what happens, folks. You learn new things watching my Arts videos. Well, it's meant to, like, be a rust uh, protection, you know, so... It's supposed to present, prevent metal from rusting, but... It's not really a lubricant, but mm. it works for it, so... It lubricates? Right there it says. It dissipates it. Uh -huh. And there's danger. What's the danger to WD-40? I don't know. Maybe you should figure it out. Mm -hmm. Find something else to mm -hmm. worry about. Wow. This is taking a little... <laughs> Everything's bending up. It's not twisting. It, they glued the lid on. I was just going to see if I could... Break it, you know. Break it's it like loose. Break it off, huh? Wow, it's. Oh, it's <laughs> oh my god. That's not working. No. That's not working. Okay. What's the next plan? What'd you say? You want to cut it open? I don't know. That could be dangerous. Danger is my middle name. Harmful or fatal if swallowed. It's combustible. I did not know that. You know it's a scary job when he's bringing out the safety goggles. Okay, I'm going to do this from afar, people. Was it cleaned? It looks like it's been cleaned, huh? There's going to be a bunch of little metal shavings in there now, so... Alright, people, that's what we found. Now he's taking the change. Yeah. That looks pretty alright. Good amount of change, huh? We can coin start and let them know. Yeah. We're going to add it to our massive coin star hall oh okay that's good all right all right you guys i hope you enjoyed this two-part video definitely one of the strangest finds we've ever had here on the locker nuts channel i mentioned at the end of the last video that i looked up some of the words on the boxes what i thought was spanish was actually a language from yoruba it was very interesting yoruba beliefs stem from nigeria which is a country in west africa Apparently, their belief system spread to the New World during the slave trade centuries ago and morphed into different sects, one of which is Santeria, which is prominent in Cuba and where I believe this locker owner was from. Another spinoff is in Haiti, which practices what is more commonly known as voodoo. Santeria, however, has a very secretive following. They also do some really weird stuff, such as animal sacrifices and wearing all white on Mondays. Because of the secrecy, estimates vary widely. Anywhere from 1 to 5 million believers in the United States alone. I was surprised by that. 
Many people I talk to haven't even heard of Santa Maria. In fact, I think I first learned about it in 1997 when the group Sublime put out their hit song, Santa Maria. But I learned a lot more about it when I watched this great interview by the Cuban comedian Joey Diaz on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. Explain Santeria to people who don't know what it's the a religion that, is. that uh, originated in Africa, and Nigeria, and then the slaves brought it over to Cuba. They hid it from the plantation owners through Catholicism. So that's why there's a lot of cross. It's kind of a mixture of a African mixture and Catholic. Of Catholic religion. Wow. I was amazed at some of the stuff that I learned on that show. And I think that, you know, he may be a little bit local in the Cabeza, but it's as interesting as anything that I've seen on the internet. I'm going to put a link to that interview in the description of this video if you want to watch it. In this country, Santeria is a lot more common in South Florida. Not so much here in the San Francisco Bay Area. In fact, this is the first time I've ever found items like this in a locker. I did enjoy, you know, researching and learning about it, just as I enjoy, you know, learning about most things that I find in a, in a locker. It's also been a joy reading the comments from viewers on this one, on the part one. Um, you guys have had some great input on this subject matter and even some ongoing discussions between viewers. I've had to delete a few of them, but mostly they've been very respectful. There's also a lot of concern given to me about touching items with bare hands and disturbing the items in the pots and so on. I've also had a lot of offers to pray for me, thank you, and I've said it in the comments and I'll say it here as well. I don't share any of these beliefs, okay? And I don't put any stock in superstitions or hoodoo voodoo or anything else. I'm just fine. Thank you for your concern. There was also mention of don't bring those pots home. Um, and I just want to say don't worry about that. Those pots never left the facility, or at least I didn't take them off the facility. The manager there was very gracious in letting me use their dumpster. So those sharpy, creepy things in the animal parts and all the rest of it are now resting in peace at the bottom of a landfill somewhere else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit me a thumbs up if you would, all right? Show us that you like this sort of thing. And uh, also subscribe. And you know what else? Go ahead and share this if you would, please. If you like it, share it. Show some other people what we're doing here. And uh, some of the creepy stuff that we find, they might like it too, all right? And I hope that I didn't offend anyone in making this video, okay? I obviously have a different belief system than the owner of this locker, okay? And to some of you watching the video, I totally get it, all right? I respect that there are other beliefs very different than my own. In fact, I have family members that have very different beliefs than my own. We still need to learn to love each other, we still need to respect our differences, and we still need to figure out how together to make a, this world a better place for our kids and their kids. So I don't need a cleansing ceremony, I don't need a purification process to be done, alright? But I may at times be guilty of an immature sense of humor. <laughs> All right, but uh, I'd say the chances of that changing anytime soon are likely cursed. Until that happens, however, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. All right, if I did believe in evil spirits or demons, I'd believe that one's sitting right here. This cat has got a mean side to her. She is cute, though. A Luna. A little devil cat.